Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at everything that's brand new and that has changed with Android 16 Beta 3. And we'll do a comparison versus Beta 2. So pretty much Beta 3 just launched today on March 13th. This one does give you that security patch level of March 2025. The first Beta was first released on January 23rd. The Beta 2 was February 13th. And this one, which is the platform stability update, which this is the one where most people feel comfortable with joining the beta program, was launched today, March 13th. So if you own any of these Pixel devices down here from pretty much the brand new Pixel 9, the 9 Pro, the 9 Pro Fold, all the way back to the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, you'll be able to join this Beta 3. Now up here, it lists just a couple things that's new, and this is really mostly going for the developers, letting them know what they can do, because starting today, all the developers are able to put all of their applications onto the Play Store. So they'll talk a little bit about the local network permission and outline text for maximum text contrast. Now there's actually a lot more to this update that has been changed and we'll actually cover those right now. Then we'll actually take a look at some of the bugs that they fixed and then we'll talk about those two things that is new for the developers. Now, if you wanna know really where we are with this update when it comes down to the Android 16 update, pretty much this one is that platform stability of March. We have one more beta, which should be beta four coming out in April with the final release of Android 16 being in May. So I can list this link below the video inside of the description. So this way you can read all of this stuff. But how about we take a look at everything new with this update? So starting this video off, we have to take a look over at the Easter egg, which is that space game. And pretty much it was introduced in Android 14. But in Android 15, they added in where if you landed on a planet or an asteroid, you would pretty much plant a flag. Then Android 16, they were actually able to incorporate autopilot. So you pretty much tap on your Android version. You'll see this screen here. And as you press and hold on this, it's just going to pretty much warp, go right into space here. And then you can turn on autopilot. And you're also able to take a look at Google's new live update format as this thing is pretty much flying through space. So this is where you're able to go through your pretty much a little rocket, little space rocket. You move your little fingers to thrust somewhere. You can actually just turn on autopilot. So now that autopilot is engaged, it's actually going to go somewhere and land it for you. But you can see on the very top, you can now take a look at the new live update format. So here's a new live update. This one right now, the spaceship is heading to Gemini 3. And then once you land, it'll show that you have, you know, reached your destination. But if we want to watch it, I tapped on it. We're just going to watch us go right over here to the target of Gemini 3. It looks as if it is approaching. And then this is where you're, you're able to see it not only land, but then put down that little flag, which again was new in this Easter egg for Android 15. So here we go. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. You can still watch your little live updates on the very top. And here we go. Boom. You have landed. And if you wanted to, you can take off your little autopilot. And then if you want, you can just, you know, shoot off and find another location. So that is what is new with Android 16 when it comes down to the Easter egg and also those the, the, the live format update. The next little change will be inside of your settings. So if you wanted to go inside of the settings and you try to search for something, you'll notice a small little change on the very top. So it used to be where this search area used to match right here. So all of these different categories and all these different options for settings is this little uh, gray area. You have like a darker gray on the very back. And up here you can see that it's just completely black. So pretty much what they did was they switched this search area to be completely fully black and it's not matching this gray anymore more and it's just going to stay in the very top as you scroll through so this way again if you're still trying to find something you don't really know exactly where it is then you just simply tap up here and then you can find it and actually how i noticed that change there was when i was trying to find extra dim so extra dim was in beta 2 in the settings of display which to me makes a lot of sense you're changing a setting with your display to turn on your extra dim uh, and so now they actually reverted and put it right back to where it was from before, which is inside of accessibility. 
So where it now is with beta three is inside of accessibility, you have extra dim, but pretty much, you know, once you already have extra dim on the very top of your phone anyways, inside of your settings, that's what I pretty much tap anyways. Uh, again, you know, you can always press and hold. It takes you right back to this very quick, but they did move it back into accessibility rather than having extra dim inside of the display settings. Now, a pretty good change here will be inside of your battery settings, taking a look at your battery health. So if you go inside of your settings of your Google Pixel and then you scroll on down, take a look at the option for battery. Inside of battery, you see this option right here called battery health. Now, inside of battery health, you'll have a little green check mark letting you know if everything is normal. Also, you can hit this little down arrow to let you know your battery capacity and a little bit of an explanation of battery capacity so you can understand it a little bit further and if you have even more questions you'd be able to take a look at battery health articles directly linking you to some information about update to the latest software turn on adaptive charging avoid extreme temperatures turn off features that you don't use and it just kind of helps with your battery health now below that you'll notice that that is where now it's located the charging optimization now inside of charging optimization again you have those two options here which is adaptive charging and you also have limit to 80%. Now, another change that I was able to notice is when you go inside of your application tray and you take a look at everything that you see here. So, you know, you got like the web, uh, you have the feedback, here is your Twitter, here is your Instagram. So pretty much what you can do from here is if you tap on this little icon, you'll have the option for close. So rather than you just immediately just swiping up, you know, to kind of get rid of it, you can actually just tap on the icon, hit on close. So for any of these that you would want to get rid of, you just, again, tap it there. Maybe you thought you're going to do something, but boom, there you go. You can just clear it off right there. So that was pretty much everything that I found that was brand new and some of the changes, but I do want to go inside of the release notes because I just want to cover a couple of the bug fixes that has happened. So a couple of the top resolved issues, they fixed various issues that were causing excessive battery drain in some cases. They fixed issues that sometimes cause devices to reboot unexpectedly and fixed an issue that caused the at a glance widget to display out of date information on the always on display. So that was some of the stuff that they were able to fix. Now let's take a look at what is new for some of the developers that they can do currently right now, because Android 16 has officially reached the platform stability today with beta three. That means the API surface is locked. The app facing behaviors are final and they, the developers can push their Android 16 targeted applications to the play store right now. So pretty much a couple of things that was added in here is the broadcast audio support. So Pixel 9 devices on Android 16 beta now support AuraCast, which uh, you can broadcast audio with compatible low energy audio hearing aids, part of Android's work to enhanced audio accessibility. And then next up you have outline text for maximum text contrast. So users with low vision often have reduced contrast sensitivity, making it challenging to distinguish objects from their backgrounds. To help these users, Android 16 beta three introduces outline text, which is replacing the high contrast text, uh, which draws a larger contrasting area around text to greatly improve legibility. So that's what some of the developers are able to take a look at right there. And then also test your app with local network protection. Android 16 beta three adds the ability to test the local network protection feature, which is planned for a future Android major release. It gives users more control over which apps can access devices on their local network. And then again, a lot of the stuff here is, you know, again, for developers. So that is everything that I wanted to share in today's video. We pretty much covered everything, pretty much everything in this release notes, the, uh, the release date, the release information. We talked about how you're able to join the beta, which devices can join the beta. We talked about what the developers can currently do right now on this platform stability. We took a look at everything that is new with beta three versus beta two. Uh, and we also took a look at the timeline. So pretty much with this one being that platform stability, we have one more beta in April and then the, the full final release of Android 16 being in May. So that does it for this video. If there is anything that I missed, just let me know in the comment section below. So this way I'd also be able to take a look at it, write it down in my little handy dandy notes right here. So this way I'd be able to make a other video, maybe in the future, talking about all of the different changes coming from all of these betas, putting it all in one video of pretty much where we are at today. Because there are some things that has changed with beta one and beta two that I didn't cover in today's video, because everything was for beta three. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. 
and I'll see you guys later.